many managers are talking about, I need a strategy in mobility, I need a strategy in social media, I need a strategy in cloud computing, and how are you going to jump into the bandwagon of big data. But instead of trying to look to separately all these technologies, I think these technologies basically are the manifestations of another concept that's what we call the digital density. We define as the number of connections, permanent connections to the internet by people, employees, providers, clients and objects. And we have like to be aware that in the latest years this digital density has exponentially grown from hundreds of millions of computers connected to the internet to billions of computers, smartphones, tablets and sensors. For instance, in the past it was very clear the organizational chart who is your boss, who is reporting to you. But we see, for instance, like in LinkedIn, that reflects our professional graph. We see that the number of interactions is beyond the organizational chart. And this is because the increase of uh, digital density, because right now the cost of this connection with different people is basically very low, allowing new things and new interactions inside the organization. So the difference between online and offline was very clear until recently. But let's think about another company that is quite modern, Groupon. Groupon in the past was doing offers to the clients using email. You have a new offer for a restaurant or for a hotel. But now Groupon is going beyond and taking advantage of digital density. Because now the customers, they have a mobile phone. And imagine a customer walking around the city and at some moment that customer is hungry. So right now using Groupon now, basically saying, okay, I want to eat here. All the providers that subscribe to Groupon now, they can make dynamically offers to that client. So digital density allows a dynamic allocation of capacity that maybe the restaurant is not using for a given moment. Something that in the past was not feasible. We see that we have an impact on business models and also we have an impact on organization. But this becomes what we call the virtual circle of digital transformation. Changing the business model is going to require change in our organization. The change in the organization are going to allow to address new business models.